Hello, I'm Ryan here again with Summit Hydraulics and today we're going to do a little video. Uh, this one's going to be on our modular check valve, a new product line that we brought on here. Um, these modular check valves are pretty standard. A lot of folks use them on the top and tilt kits. Sometimes they come built into the top and tilt kit. Um, if not, we're going to start offering these soon in addition to uh, our third function valves and our rear remote kits. So if you'd like to put something on aftermarket, uh, you will now be able to do so. So this is the modular check valve I was talking about. Um, it's very, very similar to our third function valves and our rear remote valves. Uh, it's a two piece, two piece valve, obviously, that bolts onto the manifold. This modular, modular check valve just goes in between the valve and the manifold itself. Uh, just like our valve, our DO3 spool, uh, this does have a protective cardboard. Uh, once again, a lot of folks get this mixed up with a gasket, but we need to make sure to remove this piece of cardboard, just a protector that's on both sides of the modular check valve. And this just protects the O-rings and the sealing surface uh, to keep it from getting damaged during transport. Um, very similar to the spool itself, um, Obviously the spool has the P and that gets lined up with the pinhole on our manifold block. That way we get the porting lined up properly when we assemble the valve to the manifold block itself. Same thing with our modular check valve, has a pinhole as well. Pinhole gets matched up to the pinhole, like so. Our spool goes on top, like so and then we just bolt it together. Now that we got those lined up, we're just gonna go ahead and start tightening down the fastener screws. And there we have it. We have our spool with our modular check valve atta attached and fastened directly to our aluminum manifold block. Um, so this uh, modular check valve has a overall flow rating of 26 gallons per minute. Um, it's good up to 4,500 PSI working pressure. Um, so there again, you know, if, um, if you're experiencing drift, or any kind of leak down, this would be a great option for you to install in between the valve and the manifold itself to alleviate any, any of those issues that you might be having. All right, there we go. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, the check valve just gets installed between the spool and the manifold itself. Uh, very straightforward. We just send along a couple of longer bolts, four of them, um, to fasten the spool the check valve directly to the manifold that's really the only the only thing we got going on there it's very straightforward so um, you would use something like this like i said they come pretty standard on top and tilt uh, kill, uh, kits um, you know usually these are built right onto the cylinder itself where the hose is attached to um, in this case you wouldn't have that that option on your machine so we are now offering these as an addition to the third function kits as well as the rear remote kits um, but you could use this check valve anywhere uh, you're experiencing drift or leak down um, in case you were lifting something real heavy on the front end loader you were experiencing leak down there you can install one of these and that would uh, that would alleviate that if the grapple is having trouble holding on to a heavy load and you find yourself um, trying to move or tilt forward and the grapple opens and you're dumping load on the ground you could install one of these and it would alleviate that but uh, you know just any any kind of situation where you're experiencing leak leak down or drift uh, you would install one of these and that would alleviate that problem altogether so uh, with with that being said, you know, thank you very much for watching the video. We appreciate it. If you'd like to uh, subscribe to the video, uh, we have a link in the bio below. Um, you know, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.